Hello, I'm TJ, and welcome to the Black College Sports and Education Foundation podcast. Every day during Black History Month, we are celebrating the accomplishments of Black College sports luminaries, creating a moment for everyone to come and learn about the richness of Black College sports history and culture. We are reminded of the importance of this opportunity, and we invite you to share this moment in our history. Today, we salute and honor the Florida A&M Rattlers. The Rattlers pulled the great upsets of the 1970s. The Florida A&M Rattlers established themselves as one of the most dynamic football programs in the history of college football, preeminently as a black college football dynasty under legendary Hall of Fame head coach Alonzo Jake Gaither. After he retired in 1969, the FAMU legends fell into a slump until Rudy Hubbard took over the reins. Hubbard stepped into the shadow of the great Jake Gaither at Florida A&M in 1974, and his impact was felt right away as they went from 30 to 5 from 1977 to 1979. He led the Rattlers to two undefeated 10 to 0 seasons and reaped the 1978 NCAA 1 AA national title with a 12 to 1 record. In the 1977 season, they overcame a 17 to 0 first half lead to defeat in-state rival Bethune Cookman, 27-17, to capture the first Florida Classic in the Black College Football National Championship. The 1978 season saw their best post Gaither run. They held off a powerful Jackson State team, 15 to 10 in frigid weather, giving them their second straight Black College National title to advance to the finals of the inaugural Division I AA playoffs. In the first ever Division I AA championship game, the Rattlers met another high-scoring University of Massachusetts team. FAMU star running backs Michael Solomon and Melvin McFadden combined for over 400 rushing yards in the Pioneer Bowl to defeat the Minutemen 45 to 28. They won the Division I AA Championship and until today is the only HBCU to win that national title. In 1979, FAMU suffered through critical injuries to key players after jumping out to a 5-0 start. They came into the season with a boatload of veterans with championship pedigree. The highlight of that season was a stunning upset of the University of Miami, Florida. FAMU played the Hurricanes to a 13-13 tie in the first half. Then the Rattlers took the lead on a 34-yard field goal by Vince Coleman with 3 minutes 49 seconds left in the game. With the game on the line, in the waning moments of the fourth quarter, the Rattlers stopped Hurricane running back Lorenzo Rohn for no gain on first down. They knocked down two Hurricane passes, and the biggest play was on third and goal from FAMU's third yard line. FAMU's defensive lineman, Algie Hendreth, swatted away Miami quarterback Mike Rodriguez's pass, and the Raptors forced a failed field goal attempt on fourth down to secure the 16-13 victory. The Rattlers' heroes were quarterback Sammy Knight, wide receivers Bobby Hawkins and Archie Jones, running backs Mike Solomon, Melvin McFadden, Clarence Hawkins and Frank Middleton, offensive tackle Charles Goodson, and offensive center Louis Kaiser, defensive end Tyrone McGriff, linebacker Frank Marion, and nose tackle Oliver Howard led a strong defense that stifled the vaunted Hurricanes offense. One of the glorious moments in black college football. Help keep the legends alive. Visit the Black College Sports History and Legends website at www.ehbcsports.com. And remember to support the Black College Sports and Education Foundation at www.bcsportsfoundation.com. Tune in tomorrow at 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for another Black College Sports and History legend.